All wounds require dressing and bandaging. Dressing and bandaging help control bleeding, protect the wound, and prevent additional contamination and infection. Use appropriate body substance isolation precautions prior to beginning patient care. How you doing? My name is Brian. I'm an EMT. What happened today? A check of the distal circulation through capillary refill, or pulse check, may be performed when appropriate and possible. Do you hurt anywhere else? Assessment of motor function and sensation must be performed on all extremities. Wonderful. Okay. I'm going to check your capillary refill, make sure you got good circulation. Can you wiggle your fingers for me? Wiggle your fingers like this? Does that hurt you at all? Not really. Not too much. Okay. Got no other cuts anywhere else. What we're going to do is we're going to bandage you up. We're going to put a pressure dressing on it to control your bleeding so it doesn't bleed anymore. And we're going to take you to the hospital. It looks like you're going to get a couple stitches. All right? Okay. A clean dressing must cover the entire wound. The technique used to apply the dressing must not contaminate the surface of the dressing. Apply pressure sufficient to control hemorrhage without compromising circulation unless pressure is contraindicated. Adequate bulk must be applied when pressure is contraindicated. Bandages must completely cover all dressing materials and be secure enough to hold both the dressing and bandage firmly in place. The entire process of dressing and bandaging must not cause excessive movement. The bandaging technique must control hemorrhaging without aggravating the injury. A check of the distal circulation through capillary refill or pulse check must be performed when appropriate and possible. Assessment of motor function and sensation must be performed on all extremities. Do not use elastic bandages to secure dressings. The bandage may act like a tourniquet if the injury swells, causing further damage. Proper dressing and bandaging techniques will help ensure a stable wound until further care can be administered if necessary.